Welcome to Ravenel Ford. I'm Dewey Nettles. We have some great videos for you to watch. What's up, everybody? Let's take a look at this. I mean, man, when I pulled into the Ford store today, I said, that's a Raptor. That's a Raptor right there in front. And let me tell you, folks, it is a SVT Raptor 2014 bad boy truck ready to get on the road and tear it up. I tell you, I like it a lot. What a beautiful truck. Today's video, we'll be going around this truck, taking a look at it, seeing if it's got any imperfections, kind of a condition report, and then we'll show you some of the specs and things that this truck has on it that makes it more unique than any other used F-150 out there on the road today. So uh, let's get started, okay? I'm tell you, this is going to be a good video, and I hope you can sit back and relax and enjoy with me. And uh, while you're doing that, hit that subscribe button for me on YouTube. Let's get the ball rolling. So the F-150 Raptor, well, you know one thing, the front end on the Raptor is definitely, uh, it's not your typical F-150. It's got a huge grill that says Ford on it. You got some little LED lights to go through the grill. There's also a backup camera that sits right, or not a backup camera, a front rear camera that sits right there. Can you see it? Right there, camera. How about that, pretty cool. Not bad at all. You know, Chevrolet has the Rocky Ridge package trucks. Ford does the Raptor, folks. 6.2 V8, so plenty of power under the hood. And uh, this one's got only 54,000 or so miles on it. Um, you do got the, uh, what kind of tires are those? Uh, I can't see the brand on there. Nitto, Nitto, Nitto. That's right, Nitto tires. Tons of tread, as you can see. Look at that. Get your finger through there. That's a bunch of tread right there. If you can get your fingers in that tread right there, folks, you know you got tread. That's always a good thing. So these are a 35 by 12.50 R17. So that means you got a 17-inch rim right there and a 35 series tire. If anybody ever says, man, I got 35 series tires on the way from my truck, well, folks, that looks about like that right there, okay? So good looking tire, big old suspension up under there. It's hard to see back there, but it lifts it up. Now SVT 6.2 liter V8. Here is the window sticker, 51,980. Again, for a 2014, 51,980. Let me know what you think about the pricing and the truck on the video in the comments. Again, though, the mileage is 54,622. So low mileage, tuxedo black metallic, looks great. Now, on the bottom here, you'll notice right there, that's not just your regular old sidestep either. I mean, that's got to be some hard-plated steel for those Timberland boots, okay? So, good-looking uh, sidestep there. I definitely don't advise any kids getting out and bumping their, their chin on that, but <laughs> I'll tell you, it's a nice-looking sidestep. Full four-door, though, does come with warranty. This one's got a toolbox in the back, and one of my most favorite features, the back window that opens and closes so I can throw a puppy dog a bone. Put that chocolate lab back there and throw him a bone every once in a while, folks. Let him have a good time. Let's take a look at the back tires, because you know the car is rear wheel drive, and uh, sometimes the back tires wear down a little more than the front, but these are in great shape, and you can see it's had some mud on them. That's right, I'm just riding through the lot here. There's those Fox uh, struts, I guess is what we could call them, or shocks, okay, shocks, struts. Borla exhaust. How do I know? I see the logo right there. See Borla? Booyah. It's going to sound good. I'm going to crank it up for you in just a minute so you can hear if you keep watching. So truck's in good shape. Again, it's got the backup camera in the rear. The Raptor SVT logo. You got some tow hooks on the back and on the front so you can get your friends out of the mud and a tow package. Backup sensors. And did I say backup camera right there? Yes, sir. Uh, one feature I will tell you that's cool is right here now this truck definitely has been used as a truck I mean we when we say we're gonna point out dents things and scratches we do got some scratches in the back bed back here but you know it don't take a whole lot to put your Rhino Ron, Lon X or your spray in bed liner in the back of this big boy this is a nice feature though if I can get it to work there we go so that comes up you know I was down at the Chevy store earlier we were looking at the Rocky Ridge Silverado that sits way high up off the ground and Chevy's got right here on the new body styles they got a little spot right there 
that goes in and you can put your foot right there, right? And you can climb up in the back. But the truck sits like this much higher off the ground. I'm like, how in the world do I get my foot way up there? Even if you're as tall as me, six foot, it's tough to do it. So I said, you know, I like this feature on the Ford. So I'm glad that I'm down here right now talking about this. You got that, that's gonna help you grab that to get up, okay? And then this, however this works, which seems to be a little difficult right now. Let me relieve one of my hands here. I'm not exactly sure how that, here we go. Pull that out, drop it down. Now look, it's got grip tape on there like a skateboard. Now, put your foot right there, grab the handle, we're in the back of the Raptor truck. How about that? What a nice view! By the way, <laughs> no sun. Oh, it actually, does got a sunroof up there. Look at that. Got a sunroof on the Raptor. Got a cleared out tail light, rear tail light in the back. Not bad. Let's see if we can open up this toolbox. That's one thing. I don't ever really open up toolboxes and look around, but that's your toolbox. Again, it's made for holding tools. Did you know that? Made for holding tools. That's why it's scratched up down there because people get big old tools in here, wrenches and whatever they want to put in there, and it scratches it up. But I like how it's got the black finish on it, which looks nice. So again, this is a great feature for y'all guys out there or ladies that want to get back into the truck without busting your tail getting in and out. Look at that, just step right there. Get on back down, that felt good. I like it. Pull that there. Pretty simple once you figure out how to use this thing. And solid. There you go. Got, those are, I believe those are your reverse lights right there. I'm not sure, but I think those pop on when you hit it reverse. Let's move on and take a look at the inside. This is where we spend a lot of time at. Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors. Sony stereo system. Definitely got leather in the Raptor, that's for sure. I took a ride up to Columbia in a Raptor about a month or two ago. I enjoyed it. I said, this is a nice truck. I like riding in this thing. Thank you, David, for taking me up to Columbia to go film the Senator. And um, yeah, this is nice. Got a big display screen there. HD, looking good. Four-wheel drive controls. So Microsoft Sync, USB auxiliary port. You got auxiliaries right there to be able to do whatever you need to do. Hook up your lights. Got a got a nice center console to write me a check today to buy this truck. Sunroof, and then plenty of room in the back. So not bad. I mean, not a ton of bells and whistles. You know, this is made for getting out on the road and just having a good time and going through some tumbleweed and uh, and riding through the mud. Okay, that lights up amber, so that's like a little running light. Anyways, great looking truck. Come on down to Ravenel Ford and Ravenel. And um, this Raptor might be the one for you. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, lock button here, let y'all hear the horn. That's something I rarely do too. The horn could be a little louder. Maybe it is when you hit the horn in the car. It does got remote start right there as well. But always remember folks, subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think. and. Um, Ravenel Ford has no dealer admin fees, no dock fees of any kind. If you're not familiar with those fees, then hey, maybe you haven't been charged those fees when you go to a car dealership and buy a car. But uh, a lot of dealerships got a dock fee, and I can tell you from working in the car business for the last 15 years, the uh, dock fee is basically a $299, $399, $499 fee, and uh, some dealerships call them processing fees. And uh, it's just something that's tacked on to the price of the car when you buy it and do all the paperwork. So always look for that. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those fees. <laughs> Anyways, they don't have them out here at Ravenel Ford. But you could think, you know, that processing fee, and I don't want to get in too much detail, but I will. That processing fee, folks, if you sold 200 cars a month at your store, 12 months, okay? How many cars is that a year? Just do a little simple math, okay? 200 times 12, you got that many cars times every car you sold at a $300 fee. Add that up, that's a pretty big chunk of money at the end of the year, okay? Ravenel Ford, Marchant Chevy, these folks in Ravenel do not charge that fee. 
okay so that tells you what kind of people they are not that there's anything wrong with these other folks but i'm telling you these folks live out in the country out here they own these dealerships outright and they can save you a little cash that's a benefit of shopping out here with us we'll see you soon i'm chad dolbier signing out have a great day and subscribe to my channel